Welcome back to this board game officer. Today we're going to do another unboxing, but this is just going to be an unboxing of the 1.2 update pack for Madara. So I was sent this to be all clear. I was sent this because I have the 1.1 version. And uh, so I contacted them. They were willing to send me this update pack so I could do some playthroughs because doing playthroughs of the 1.1 version is kind of pointless right now because <laughs> they actually did change a good amount of rules. Nothing that is completely game changing, I wouldn't say, but there is enough rules changed that I want to make sure I have the most up to date version here. So we have here what is 1.2 update pack? So it basically says everything that we have in here. One thing that this is a good thing and a bad thing about this here is it's really, really nice because they basically give you every single card in the entire game so so you don't have to go through and figure out well this one's new but this one's not well this one's new and this one's not and this one's updated right you don't have to worry about that you just take out every single card that you have and replace it with what's in here so and that's why it's a good thing and bad thing because that means all of my other cards are completely useless and it's like well now what do i do with them <laughs> right but it makes it really nice just to actually update it once again if you have one point one, replace all the cards from the second printing of the cards. We decided to replace every card so that it was easier for you to implement, right? That was kind of go off of this um, Chronicles 1.5 version update was really hard to manage. Um, I'm actually gonna do a video on that one as well because that one's harder to manage, but this one's pretty easy to manage. And one thing that kind of talks about here is one point of this update is because once they started going through act two and three, they realized the the way that they had built it did not make it good to keep going after act one it was it was fine for act one but once you got into act two and act three the way that they had it had the upgrading system did not work as well as they were hoping so this is to kind of balance so you have a good progression throughout all three acts so is this mandatory to play like if you have a 1.1 version do you need this pack to play if you're just playing act one absolutely not the 1.1 version is completely playable. Um, I played through three fourths of the first act and uh, it was great. I actually really liked it. And I wasn't actually, I was not going to get this because I was happy with the 1.1 version, but I want to do some playthroughs of this channel. And so I was like, well, I, if I were doing playthroughs, I don't want to do a playthrough of an older version. So that's why I did get this. And, but also here real quick, it kind of tells you what's changed and why. Lay it on all cards, some errata for some of the cards. That wasn't too much, but there were some of that. Um, basically, change it all just because it makes it easier. And here's that scaling and difficulty that I talked about. Yeah, so basically, um, they kind of both nerfed and increased some of the combatants. It was kind of a mixture of what they made more difficult and less difficult. Player defense it almost got to a point where in Act 2 or 3, you were your defense was way super high. And so it was like, well, what's the point of even attacking when your defense is so high that's almost impossible to be hit? Summoning was nerfed hardcore, which honestly, I have a little bit of a problem with that, but we'll talk about that later when we go through the playthrough. Um, conduit summoning. So conduit summoning is when you actually turn into the enemies if you have that ability. And they actually increased that a little bit more because that was at higher levels you weren't as strong, so they kind of increased that. And then the disciplines, they kind of moved around a little bit. So some they made, so you have to get them later. Some they made earlier. They kind of just mixed it around a little bit there. So as you can see here, all the defense on the older cards was actually nine. So they nerfed, they moved the defense down a little bit on all the adventures here. And as you can see, there's so many of these cards. And one thing to put out here, as you can see, this Nyx is actually from the Kickstarter side which I actually don't have. I only have the base game. So they are giving you everything in all the expansions and everything. So some of these cards might not be, well, not necessarily non-playable, just you're not gonna have the miniature, right? I'm not gonna have the Nyx miniature. However, side note, I actually, uh, Nyx is a Chronicles of Drunagor um, crossover. So I actually do have a Nyx m miniature from Chronicles of Drunagor. So I might use that if I wanna play Nyx. <laughs> and then we do have all the hidden cards still that are upgraded here we have the two player and three player adjustment here so ubiquitous adventure i don't remember basically one side is if you're playing three player 
the other side is if you're playing two player or two full characters and these are kind of characters you or benefits you get when you add it to a character so if you add god's will jaconde you could add these abilities to one of your full play characters that way you don't have to play full full four full characters <laughs> which actually in my playthroughs i think i am going to use one of these or two of these i haven't decided yet and we've got you know a fancy foam block <laughs> here we have mundane wandering relics here we have rare consumables mundane consumables we've got rare weapons uncommon weapons we've got the hidden cards we've got more hidden cards and here we have subterfuge and uh, all the other what do you call these again disciplines here's all the disciplines there we've got some upgrade weapon upgrades and armor upgrades we have initiative cards here we have the gold cards it is kind of nice it does show maybe the version right there version 1.2 that way it's easy to tell what card you have. So that actually is kind of nice. We have all of them there. We've got the side, or not the side, but the familiars you could get right there. We've got other consumables. We've got more relics and more things. And as you can see, they actually updated some of the tokens here. So this is one thing. Once again, you'll just replace whatever it says. So they did not... Re do all the tokens but just a handful of tokens here as you can see we've got the colors there and the abilities there so let's I just want to open up one of these I don't want to do too much here because if you have the 1.1 or anything like there's not a whole lot of new stuff you're gonna see it's just the slight changes here oh man my knife is not sharp enough and I don't want to cut all the cards here struggle Ville. welcome to struggle I am the mayor <laughs> Maybe here. There we go. Got a little slice there. A little slice of heaven. So, we finally get this open here. There we go. So, we've got Remy here. Nightingale, these are your base characters here. Your normal heroes. Oh, these are your conduits here. So, your defense and health come from your character themselves. Then we got the command card, or these are also the conduits here. And now we have a loyal the espers that you could summon there. And now we have the intelligence here. As you can see, before they had white dice, now they have two purple dice. And then another thing that they did here is they added at the bottom what loot level you are at is the card before. You had to flip it over and look at the bottom to see when you're supposed to summon them. They did add that just onto the bottom so it's easier to tell when you're supposed to upgrade your... Um, intelligence are the enemies there and as we come back here we've got some of our bosses here here we got as you can see loot level is common now so when you at the beginning of each scenario it's going to say what loot level it is and so if it says common you're going to summon this water lower instead of the other one but all of them have different like so it's not like everything is going to upgrade at the common level it just kind of depends on whatever <laughs> the card says and how they've done it pretty much i do want to kind of go through these okay i'm going to go through a couple more cards because i'm actually kind of interested and if i'm interested that means someone else might be interested so if you're not then you could just not watch this anymore if you really want <laughs> but because this is going to be i'm guessing some more of these so everything in that pile was from the base box i'm guessing these are going to be more stuff that not from the base box because i know nick's was a kickstarter exclusive yeah these are going to be some of the kickstarter exclusive slash some of the resin kits because yeah, i think this is a resin kit one for remy i really do i do want that miniature actually because that miniature is awesome i love that setup what she's doing there but everything else is pretty much the same it's just the defense is different from the first one but this remy versus this remy exactly the same just different picture there we've got all those we've got some more of all the all the other packs that you could get basically yeah it does look like this is all of them as you can see and then oh, what do we have here what is this 
I is this just I actually don't know what these are I mean these are like the pictures of them but the back is just black it says version 2 I'm not sure like is this just for art or is this for something that I'm not sure it looks like oh yep we got missed just that one there oh that's another Zeke I haven't seen that Zeke that's pretty cool once again like his ability is all the same just different art which is really fun and usually all the ones with different art also has a different miniature that matches that art so so really for me it's just another thing to look at differently <laughs> while I'm playing as it's on the board right let's go ahead and look at these two player and three player variation cards here and a couple of the other tarot cards that are normal here so as you can see linked adventure so this status means that every turn you're going to gain one more sp you actually have 12 more health than normal and then once per encounter you can ignore all break attacks made against you until the end of the turn so that's the two player is the linked adventure but if you're playing three players you're going to use this side ubiquitous adventure as you see it basically is the exact same thing but you only your character that this is attached to only gains four extra health rather than 12. So, and as you can see, each one is going to be a little different here, give different abilities. So if you have that character available, you can choose to attach them because they will give you different abilities that actually can change. So then it's not, it's a, makes it a little bit better than just like, oh, if you only play two characters, just add 12 health and you can gain four, S, four SP each turn. Because that's more or less, that's what it is. But it, you also have a one per encounter for each one. So you kind of gain a little bit more. Which is kind of nice. Ooh, this one will actually be really nice. Because, oh. Oh, he doesn't give you an extra one, but you could have up to six. That's cool. Okay, this so this is all of them. Oh, there we go. Now we have the battle dice. Now, these are the ones that come with the game. And, uh, and the exalted espers. That's what these are called. Exalted espers, which you or and or the enemy will summon. And then you have the player aid cards there. Awesome. So other than that, all the other cards are going to be 99% the same. Um, uh, there are just going to be a slight dice change, color change, really, I think. So I don't think there's a really good point to go through that. But these were kind of fun because these are not in the base game. So I was really kind of curious there. Um, uh, so gameplay will be coming soon. And actually, maybe when I do the playthrough, I'm going to show do a video about how I organize the box. I do have the old box, not the new 1.2 box, which is thicker, so it fits everything a lot better. But I have printed a lot of 3D printed stuff, which has been super helpful in just getting it to the table and organizing and everything, so I'll kind of show that, which I did get off thing Thingiverse. But if you're interested, I did do a video a while back about some of this stuff because there's so much. I'll put a link right there. And I will see you later.